Hi everyone, doing a quickie today. I'm gonna do two jar lids. And as I've shown in other videos, uh, I will list the video and the screen in a second. Um, this is how I tape it. I have a complete tutorial from start to finish in uh, whatever video I post up above right now. And it starts from how I tape it, blowing it out with the bloom, resining it and pulling the tape off and finishing it. So for today, I'm doing something simple. I've got my ornaments that I've been working on and I'm gonna use a similar color pattern. I've got my Deco Art Sky Blue Topaz, my Artist's Loft Metallic Blue, and I'm gonna to add to the lineup, just for a little dimension, this Payne's Gray Combo, which is Golden and Arteza, and then I have some gold to go with it. So that's the deal. I've got my American Floatrol Cell Activator. You know what, I might add the I might add the black as well, but these aren't ornaments. I'm gonna add the black. Here it is right here. This is my American Flow Troll. I have it listed, so if you ever wonder, I do have a set of Australian and a set of American. It's hard to read, but I always put uh, American AM Flow Troll and the K means black because that's a shorthand for black in the print industry. So here's the black. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna get the pillow down and I'll be back once the pillow's ready to, and once I'm ready to put the bloom on. All right, be back in a second. Okay, everybody. Lid number two of the dueling, dueling jar lids with my recycled blue scrap uh, strained paint. This is my Deco Art Sky Blue Topaz. The last one came out beautiful. And this is the Metallic Blue by Artist Loft. These three colors play so nicely together. This is the Payne's Gray. And the first one I did, which I poured over, which I may or may not have shown you, was anemic. So I had to go back in with some more of this. And I, like I said, <laughs> everything is better with a little Payne's Gray. A little gold. And cell activator. American Floatrol cell activator, video 141. Here's a bubble percolating. Got you. Yeah, these do well in the little art store down the, down the street. Oh. And they're fun and they're quick. And there's no stress because it's just not hard. Here we go. So everyone, if you've been watching me, you know I like to talk through how I blow things out. And if you've watched other artists, you'll see other people do it different ways. This is just the way I like to do it. I like to blow straight down into the center to start with to get the cell activator to form a ridge on the paints. And then once I see that ridge, I blow toward it and blow the cell activator out over the paints and the paints out over the pillow and kind of a little scooping action where I blow down and then I lift my head up as I blow out. Now on a typical coaster or something else, I don't normally blow it this far out, but since this is so small, you almost can't help but blow it out completely to the edge. And the rest of the spreading will happen when you start to spin it on the cake spinner here. Give that a minute to come back. This one looks really pretty so far. Get a couple bubbles, I'll pop them in the meantime. The ni nice thing about this blue pillow is that when it pops through, you see blue. It's not a big stark white spot. So it kind of is disguised. Really nice. Really nice.
I got a few whopper spots. But they'll go away. Okay, this will probably spin off, but I'm going to take it anyway. And it's dunking so easy. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, lovely. I don't know if it's this b blue pillow or what. I am getting some spots, though. Let's get to spinning. Some of that is also confused by the um, the sky blue topaz. Some of this is the sky blue topaz that I'm dunking, and I probably need to regroup and look at this better. So now here's a spot, an air bubble. Sometimes if you swizzle the stick. It also helps it come up better. Meaning if you take your toothpick and as you're pulling up, you're pulling up and you're, you're sp spinning it like this. Another free tip. My tip jar is spilling over. All right. Get it more centered. Oh, there's a big goober in there. Oh my. Where's my surgical tool? Oh my, now sometimes the way you take things out is critical. So you're seeing the line of what I've got here. So as I pull it out, I'm gonna to try to pull the paint in the same direction as the line that's already there. So as it removes, it won't be so obvious. Let's see if I can pull that off. Unfortunately, I don't think I got anything. <laughs> what is in there? Okay. Good Lord. It's over here. I need to go this direction. Nope. What in the world? I am not getting it, and I'm making a mess. Mm. Okay, let's try it another way. Wow, I've never had this much trouble before. Let's try. So I'm trying to get under it with the toothpick in my left hand and trying to pull it out with the tweezers in my right. I've got to get it. Got it. Oh no, but I ran, I ran my left hand off. Let's see if I can kind of... Let's see if I can do something about that. Oh my Lord. Let's see if I can disguise that. Hmm. Wow. 
ich. Okay, not the right color. I need a lighter blue, but let's keep going. Maybe by the end you won't even notice. I have never had to use two tools to get something out before. And what the heck was it? I don't even know what it was. But I got it. All right, tell me where it was. Where was it? I see where it was. But nobody that doesn't know this will know. That was a good extraction. And not to be afraid. You just gotta go for it, because you gotta get it out of there. You can't leave it. All right, I think we're, I think we're covered. We look good. Oh! These two take a little longer. Oh, I got one. Thing. So here we go. Here's this guy. Yes, it's beautiful. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and some of the tips. This is the one that we just created. And here is the second one that you did not see me create, but that's part of this set. And then right here, I have the final resin results and I have little bows on them as an indicator that these are perfect for gifts. Create them, fill them and gift them for the holidays. So at the very end of this video, I will have a Bloom Jarless playlist so you can see other color combinations and other creations. So that's all I have for now, folks. Until next time, take care.